Newton's second law problems with solution. Before starting the lecture, click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual videos for free. In this lecture, you will learn solving different problems by using Newton's second law of motion. Firstly, let me teach you simple problems. What force is required to produce an acceleration of 40 meter per second squared and a cricket ball of mass 0.5 kg? Now let me highlight the given data in the problem. What force is required to produce acceleration of 40 meter per second squared and a cricket ball of mass 0.5 kg. So we are given three variables. Find force, the values of acceleration is 40 meter per second squared and the mass is 0.5 kg. So here I write F, here I write A and here I write M. Now according to Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to MA. We are F is force, M is mass and A is acceleration. Thus F is equal to mass M is 0.5 kg and acceleration A is 40 meter per second square. Hence, as a result, F is equal to 20 kg meter per second square. We know that 1 kg meter per second square is equal to 1 Newton. Hence, F is equal to 20 Newton. This means if we exert force F is equal to 20 Newton on a cricket ball of mass 0.5 kg, this 20 Newton force will produce 40 meter per second square acceleration and 8. The second problem is find acceleration produced an engine force of 3600 Newton and a car of mass 600 kg. Now again I will highlight the given data. Find the acceleration. So we have to find acceleration in this numerical. Secondly, the engine force of 3600 Newton. So we highlight force F of 3600 Newton. Thirdly, in a car of mass M of 600 kg. Here in this numerical, we are again given three variables. F, M and A. According to Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. We need to find the acceleration A of the car. So shift this M from the right hand side to the left hand side. A is equal to F upon M. Now plug in the values in this equation. A is equal to 3600 Newton upon 600 kg. As a result, we get 6 meter per second squared acceleration. Hence, 3600 Newton will produce an acceleration of 6 meter per second square and a mass of 600 kg. The third problem is calculate the force required to stop a car of mass 1400 kg and 2 seconds if it is moving with velocity of 10 meter per second. Now again I will highlight the given data. Firstly, calculate the force F and highlight it. Secondly, to stop a car means that final velocity Vf of the car will be zero. Thirdly, mass M is equal to 1400 kg and highlight it and time 2 seconds. So it is time t and highlight it also. If it is moving with velocity of 10 meter per second, this is initial velocity Vi and also highlight it. There are five variables given in this problem and we have to find force F to stop a moving car. According to Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. Here the mass of the car is 1400 kg. 
Now what about the acceleration a of this car? To find the acceleration a of this car, we are given initial velocity vi, final velocity vf and time t of the car. So the acceleration a of this car is equal to vf minus vi upon time. Now I will put this value of acceleration and the Newton second law. Thus f is equal to m into vf minus vi upon time. Hence plug in all these values in this equation. f is equal to mass m is equal to 1400 kg and to final velocity vf which is 0 meter per second minus initial velocity vi which is 10 meter per second upon time which is equal to 2 second. As a result, we get F is equal to minus 7000 Newton. Here, the negative sign shows that this force 7000 Newton is a retarding force. It means this force stops the car. Lastly, find acceleration produced in a truck of mass 900 kg if the horizontal engine force is 500 Newton and the friction force is 200 Newton. Now read it for highlighting variables. Find acceleration. So we have to find acceleration A and highlight it. Secondly, in a truck of mass M 900 kg and also highlight it. Thirdly, if the horizontal engine force F is 500 Newton and highlight it. Fourthly, the friction force small f is 200 Newton and highlight it. Now let me draw a freehand diagram so that you could understand it in easy way. Let consider a truck. Let its mass is 900 kg. Let the horizontal force f is equal to 500 Newton is acting in this direction while the friction f is equal to 200 Newton being opposite force acts in the opposite direction. So the net or the resultant force on the truck is 300 Newton and remember this 300 Newton force as a resultant force. Now this net force of 300 Newton produce acceleration A in this truck of mass 900 kg. According to Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to ma. We will shift mass m from the right hand side to the left hand side. Hence A is equal to F upon m. Now plug in the values in this equation. A is equal to the net force F on the truck is 300 Newton and the mass of the truck is 900 kg. So 300 Newton upon 900 kg as a result A is equal to 0 0.33 meter per second squared. So this 300 Newton net force will produce 0 0.33 meter per second squared acceleration in the truck. I hope that you have learned the problems of Newton's second law of motion. If you have learned all these problems, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.